Mama's Family, 1983-1990, cast then and now, who passed away after 41 years. The inaugural installment of the 30-minute series, Mama's Family, debuted on January 22, 1983. Between 1983 and 1985, NBC Network helmed the production, while CBS Television Network took over from 1986 to 1990. The program, designed for amusement, showcased a Southern working-class household comprising a sharp-tongued elderly widow residing with her journalist sibling and a not-so-bright son alongside his two children. Distinguished by its continuously shifting dysfunctional family storylines, eccentric outfits, talented ensemble, and witty comedic jabs, the show claimed the top spot as the most watched syndicated program on television for four successive years. After completing six seasons and airing a total of 130 episodes, the series bid farewell with its final episode airing on February 24, 1990. Despite receiving two accolades from eight nominations, including a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Costume Design for a series in 1984, the show faced the unfortunate loss of several cast members over time. Here are the particulars concerning the fate of the Mama's family cast. Ken Barry as Vinton Harper. Ken Barry portrayed Vinton Harper, the youngest member of Mama's family, throughout both the network and syndicated iterations of the series. The storyline kicks off with Vint's initial wife, Mitzi, departing from him and their children. Vint returns to live with his mother and develops feelings for the woman next door, Naomi. They tie the knot, and instead of Vint moving in with Naomi, she relocates to Mama's basement to be with Vint. Barry's appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show was scheduled just before he was set to depart from the Army. Nimoy dispatched telegrams to various studios and talent agents urging them to observe Barry's performance on the show. This led to an offer from 20th Century Fox and a screen test at Universal Studios. Upon his arrival in Hollywood, Barry promptly signed with an agent and accepted Universal's offer, commencing his tenure as a contract player. Barry exchanged vows with Jackie Joseph, a fellow cast member from Billy Barnes's productions, on May 29, 1960. Their son, Joseph Larson Barry, was born on November 29, 1962, but tragically passed away six days later on December 5, 1962. Subsequently, they adopted two children together, John and Jennifer. Their marriage ended in divorce in 1976. Barry's son, John, who later co-founded the indie rock band Idaho, succumbed to brain cancer at the age of 51 in 2016. His daughter, Jennifer, passed away in 2020 from natural causes at the age of 55. Barry's longtime companion and partner, Susie Walsh, who worked as a stage manager, had been by his side for the last 24 years. Barry passed away from complications related to his heart in Burbank, California, on December 1, 2018, at the age of 85. Alan Kayser as Bubba Higgins Bubba Higgins is a fictional character featured in the television series Mama's Family. He was brought to life by actor Alan Kayser. In the family skits and the film Eunice, he and a sibling named Billy were merely referenced. One sibling eventually fled from home, while the other was apprehended for theft and sent to a juvenile detention center. Kayser hails from Littleton, Colorado, where he spent his formative years and attended Columbine High School from 1978 to 1982. Following his graduation, Kayser relocated to Los Angeles, California, to embark on his acting journey. Throughout the 1980s, he appeared in several films, including Hot Chili and Night of the Creeps. In 1989, Kayser received a nomination for a Young Artist Award in the category of Best Young Actor Guest Starring in a Drama or Comedy Series for his portrayal of Bubba Higgins in Mama's Family. Kayser was previously wed to Lori Kayser, with whom he shares two children. Since August 23, 2014, he has been married to Sarah Kayser, and they also have two children together. In 2022, Kayser was honored with induction into the Missouri Walk of Fame during the annual Missouri Cherry Blossom Festival held in Marshfield, Missouri. Dorothy Lyman as Naomi Oates Harper. 
Naomi served as the second spouse of Vinton Harper and the source of Thelma Harper's frustration. Thelma perceives Naomi as a flirtatious woman, while Vint affectionately refers to her as Skeeter. Initially, Naomi was Thelma's neighbor, often complaining about the sap from Thelma's tree dripping onto her car. However, over time, she became an integral part of the family. During this period, Lyman appeared in the In the Cards episode, 1985, of the Tales from the Dark Side television series. She also portrayed Ralphie's mother in Gene Shepard's Ollie Hop Noodles' Haven of Bliss, 1988, appeared as Maura Norris in the ALF episode Tequila, 1988, and portrayed Sergeant Carol James Myers in the Hunter episode The Pit, 1989. In 2007, Lyman made a guest appearance in the third season of the reimagined Battlestar Galactica as Starbuck's mother. She also guest starred on Reba as the titular character's mother and appeared in The Blacklist in the season six episode, The Pawn Brokers. Lyman was married to director and actor John Tillinger from 1971 to 1983, and they share two children, including daughter Emma Tillinger Koskoff, an Academy Award nominated producer. She has a son, Sebastian Tillinger, from her second marriage to French film producer Vincent Mal. Beverly Archer as Iola Lucille Boylan. Starting from the third season onward, Beverly Archer portrayed Iola Lucille Boylan, the Harper's friendly yet bothersome neighbor who frequently meddled in the family's affairs. After her appearances in nearly 100 episodes of Mama's Family, Archer continued to secure steady roles in various television series during the 80s and 90s. Archer gained significant recognition for her co-starring role in the television series Major Dad, where she portrayed the assertive Sergeant Alva Bricker. She depicted Charlie's uninteresting teacher in Vice Versa, a larcenous teacher in the Brady Bunch movie, and featured in two episodes of Married with Children as Miss Hardaway, a sexually inhibited librarian and advocate for abstinence who harbors feelings for Bud. Additionally, she made an appearance in a 1994 episode of Full House, portraying an unsympathetic SAT test proctor. Archer also made guest appearances in episodes of Family Ties, The Fall Guy, and Grace Under Fire. The actress remained active in the industry until 2002, when she quietly retired from acting. Karen argued as Sonia Harper. Throughout the initial two seasons of Mama's Family, Karen Argood was part of the ensemble cast, portraying Sonia Harper, Vinton's teenage daughter from a prior marriage, characterized by her general obliviousness. Mama's Family marked Argood's most prominent acting role, although she made brief appearances in single episodes of series like Nash Bridges and had a cameo role in the unconventional comedy film Bartleby in 2001. In 2022, Karen Argode starred as Maria in the original Hallmark movie Love in the Limelight. She is wedded to Kevin Morrissey, and together they have two children. Rue McClanahan as Aunt Fran Crowley. Rue McClanahan portrayed Mama's unmarried sister Fran during the NBC era of the series. It was quite different from her sultry character, Blanche Devereaux, in Golden Girls. Fran held a job at the local newspaper and was notably more reserved than the other members of the Harper family. McClanahan collaborated with her future Golden Girls colleague Betty White on the show, where White portrayed Thelma Harper's eldest daughter, Ellen Harper Jackson. Prior to Golden Girls, McClanahan also worked alongside B. Arthur, playing Maud's closest friend on Maud, a spin-off of All in the Family featuring Arthur. However, Commitments to the Golden Girls prevented both McClanahan and White from reprising their roles when Mama's family returned in syndication. McClanahan's character, Fran, was explained to have passed away off-screen after choking on a toothpick. On November 4, 2009, McClanahan underwent triple bypass surgery following hospitalization for symptoms related to her heart. A scheduled event to celebrate her lifetime achievements, Golden, a gala tribute to Rue McClanahan at the Castro Theater in San Francisco, California, on November 14, 2009, had to be postponed. 
Entertainment Tonight reported on January 14, 2010, that while recovering from surgery, McClanahan experienced a minor stroke. In March 2010, Betty White, her fellow cast member from Golden Girls, mentioned on The Ellen DeGeneres Show that McClanahan was progressing well, with her speech returning to normal. McClanahan passed away in 2010 due to a brain hemorrhage, as reported by the New York Times. She is survived by her sixth husband, Mauro Wilson, and her son, Mark. Eric Brown as Vinton Buzz Harper Jr. Eric Brown portrayed Vinton Buzz Harper Jr., Vinton's son from a previous marriage, known for his patience and willingness to accommodate others within the family. Following his departure from the series after its initial cancellation in 1984, Brown landed several roles in both film and television during the 80s and 90s. His most prominent role came as James in the beloved horror classic Waxwork in 1988, and his most recent acting appearance was a cameo as an English teacher in the 1999 film Outside Providence. Additionally, he served as an assistant director on some of the horror films he starred in and also appeared in television advertisements. Carol Burnett as Eunice Higgins With Mama's family stemming from The Carol Burnett Show, it's only natural that Burnett would play a role in the series. Portraying Ellen Harper Jackson, Thelma's contentious middle child, Burnett joined the cast of Mama's Family, a comedic icon Burnett is renowned for her eponymous The Carol Burnett Show. Beyond Mama's Family, Burnett has maintained a prolific career in film and television, earning an Emmy for her portrayal of Teresa Stemple in Mad About You. In recent times, Burnett has lent her voice to projects like Toy Story and Trolls. In 2022, Burnett made appearances in four episodes of Better Call Saul. In 2019, she was honored with the inaugural Carol Burnett Lifetime Achievement Award at the Golden Globes for her indelible contributions to television. Burnett has cultivated close bonds with luminaries such as Lucille Ball, Beverly Sills, Jim Neighbors, Julie Andrews, and Betty White. She serves as a mentor to Vicki Lawrence, with whom she shares a deep camaraderie, as affirmed by Lawrence in a heartfelt tribute during her participation at Burnett's 2013 Mark Twain Award Ceremony in Washington, D.C. In August 2020, Burnett and her spouse sought guardianship of Burnett's teenage grandson. Burnett already holds educational rights, enabling her to make educational decisions for her grandson Dylan. Subsequently, Burnett and Miller assumed temporary guardianship of the child from September 2020 to November 2021, at which point Dylan's caseworker took over the responsibility. Harvey Corman as Alistair Quince. Also returning to his role from The Carol Burnett Show, Harvey Corman portrayed Ed Higgins, Eunice's frustrated spouse, who remained silent despite his numerous disagreements with the family. Apart from his acclaimed collaboration with Burnett, Corman gained renown for his role in the uproarious Mel Brooks film Blazing Saddles in 1974. After leaving the ensemble of Mama's Family in 1984, Corman largely shifted to voice acting and provided his voice for the 1994 live-action adaptation of The Flintstones. He also reunited with fellow Carol Burnett show colleague Tim Conway, making a guest appearance on Conway's 1980-1981 comedy variety series, The Tim Conway Show. Subsequently, the duo embarked on a U.S. tour, revisiting skits from the show and presenting new material. A DVD featuring new comedy sketches by Corman and Conway, Together Again, was issued in 2006. Corman and Conway were jointly inducted into the Television Hall of Fame in 2002. Corman was wedded to Donna Ehlert from 1960 to 1977, and they shared two children, Maria and Christopher Corman. He tied the knot with Deborah Corman, nay Fritz, in 1982, and remained married to her until his passing in 2008. They welcomed two daughters together, Kate and Laura Corman. 
Corman passed away at the age of 81 on May 29, 2008, at UCLA Medical Center due to complications arising from a ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysm he had suffered four months earlier. Earl Bowen as Reverend Lloyd Meacham Lloyd Meacham serves as the pastor of the church attended by Thelma Harper and her family. He is wed to the frequently domineering Alberta Meacham and is a grandfather to a boy named Eugene. Reverend Meacham notably officiated the weddings of Vinton Harper and Naomi Harper, as well as presided over Fran Crowley's memorial service. Bowen portrayed Jim Peterson, Angela Bauer's employer in the television series Who's the Boss? Bowen held a recurring part as Dr. Kramer in the Fox show Get a Life during the 1990s. He made an appearance on an episode of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in 1993 as a representative from Princeton University. Additionally, he provided the voice for the powerful alien Nagalum in an episode of Star Trek, The Next Generation's second season. Bowen's voice was featured on the Disneyland Railroad from 2002 until 2016 and on the Walt Disney World Railroad from 2002 until late 2010. Bowen retired from on-screen acting in 2003, but continued his career as a voice actor in radio, animated television series, and video games until 2017. Bowen tied the knot with actress Carol Keene in 1970. She passed away on April 23, 2001, due to ovarian cancer at the age of 58. Together, they had a daughter. Bowen entered into marriage with his second spouse, Kathy, in 2008. Bowen received a diagnosis of lung cancer in the autumn of 2022. He passed away in Hawaii on January 5, 2023, at the age of 81. Betty White as Ellen Harper Jackson Snobbish in her demeanor and privileged by marriage, Ellen is the eldest among Thelma Harper's three offspring. Even from a young age, her tendency towards snobbery was evident. Typically, she avoids associating with her family members unless it serves her own interests. Following the war, White sought opportunities in the film industry but faced rejection due to being deemed not photogenic. Turning to radio, where appearance was irrelevant, she secured her initial roles, reading advertisements, playing minor characters, and even providing background sounds. Her compensation averaged around $5 per performance. During her time volunteering with the American Women's Voluntary Services, White crossed paths with Air Force P-38 pilot Dick Barker. They married in 1945 and settled on Barker's chicken farm in Bell Center, Ohio, as he sought a simpler lifestyle. However, White found the rural life unsatisfying, leading to their return to Los Angeles and subsequent divorce within a year. In 1947, she wed Hollywood talent agent Lane Allen, but their marriage dissolved in 1949 due to conflicting desires regarding starting a family versus prioritizing her career. On December 25, 2021, White suffered a stroke, and on the morning of December 31st, she passed away peacefully in her sleep at her residence in the Brentwood neighborhood of Los Angeles at the age of 99. Her properties in Brentwood and Carmel, California, were sold in April and June 2022, respectively, with her personal effects auctioned off the following September, with proceeds benefiting various charities. A significant portion of her television memorabilia, including wardrobe items, annotated scripts, and five Emmy Awards, was donated to the National Comedy Center by her estate. Joseph Campanella as Mr. Hansen. Mr. Alan Hansen, a smart and easygoing instructor at night school attended by Thelma and Bubba also serves as Thelma Harper's romantic interest. Portrayed by Joseph Campanella. Campanella portrayed the character Joe Torino, a criminal, in a recurring role from 1959 to 1962 on the enduring CBS daytime soap opera Guiding Light. He also had a recurring part as Dr. Ted Steffen on the medical series the Doctors and the Nurses from 1964 to 1965. During a period, Campanella lent his voice to BMW commercials in the United States, famously declaring, BMW, the ultimate driving machine. 
He served as a spokesperson for Napa Auto Parts for several years starting in the 1970s. Campanella provided the voice of Dr. Kurt Connors' Och the Lizard on Spider-Man, the animated series, 1994-1997. He served as the narrator for the Discover Science series on the Disney Channel from 1992 to 1994. His last film roles were as Donald Meeks in For Heaven's Sake, 2008, and Emil in Lost Dream, 2009. Campanella met his spouse, Catherine Jill Bartholomew, a vocalist and dancer, in 1963 while starring as the leading man in Hotspot on Broadway. They wed on May 30, 1964, and were blessed with seven sons, Philip, B. 1965, Robert Yale, B. 1966, Joseph Anthony Jr., B. 1967, Dominic Peter, B. 1969, Anthony F., B. 1974, John Mario, B. 1977, and Andrew Michael, B. 1979. Campanella passed away at 93 on May 16, 2018, at his residence in Sherman Oaks, California, due to complications from Parkinson's disease. Marge Redmond as Lolly Perdue. Marge Redmond assumed the role of Lolly Perdue, Thelma's companion and eventual successor as head of the CLL, following the departure of the original actor. The season five episode titled Reading the Riot Act brings her character into focus, revealing her struggle with illiteracy. This particular episode addresses adult illiteracy as Mama endeavors to help her friend overcome this challenge. Redmond's most notable television role was as one of the down-to-earth nuns in The Flying Nun. Sally Field portrayed Sister Bertril, a nun so slight that she could take flight with a gust of wind catching her habit. Redmond portrayed Sister Jacqueline, a sensible nun and confidant of Sister Bertril, and also served as the narrator for each episode. Marge Redmond passed away in February 2020 at the age of 95. In her obituary published in The Hollywood Reporter, her former husband Jack Weston fondly remembered her lucrative endorsement deal with Cool Whip in the 1970s, remarking, She works five days a year and makes six figures. Jeffrey Lewis as Claude Canemaker. Claude Canemaker, Vince's shady pal always cooking up schemes. He pursued studies in theater arts at San Bernardino Valley College for a span of two years before delving into various odd jobs, including truck driving. Eventually, he kick-started his acting journey by enrolling in acting classes at the Neighborhood Playhouse in New York City and showcasing his talent in off-Broadway productions and regional theaters across Massachusetts. During the 1980s, Lewis collaborated with musician and songwriter Jeff Levin as part of the musical storytelling ensemble Celestial Navigations. Lewis tied the knot three times and fathered several children. Reports differ on the exact number of his surviving children, with some stating nine and others claiming ten. Among his offspring is actress Juliette Lewis, with whom he shared the screen in films like Blueberry and The Way of the Gun. His other children encompass daughters Brandy, Hannah, Deirdre Lewis, and Emily Colombier, along with sons Peter, Lightfield, Miles, and Matthew, as well as nine grandchildren. Lewis passed away on April 7, 2015, succumbing to a heart attack at the age of 79. The fatal incident occurred while he was engaged in a workout session at the Motion Picture and Television Country House and Hospital, as confirmed by his family. Alan Oppenheimer as Mayor Alvin Tutwiler. Mayor Alvin Tutwiler, the mayor of Raytown and Ellen's romantic partner. As a versatile character performer, Oppenheimer has portrayed a variety of roles across popular American television shows. His credits range from portraying a Nazi in Hogan's Heroes to depicting an Israeli covert operative and a deceitful KOS scientist in Get Smart to assuming the role of Dr. Rudy Wells in The Six Million Dollar Man. Oppenheimer's diverse acting career extends to video games, where he has lent his voice to characters such as Dr. Pyotr Ivanovich in Soldier of Fortune II, Double Helix, Prometheus in God of War II, and Jandor the airship captain in Knox. Additionally, he provided voices for Fallout, Brotherhood of Steel, embodying the characters of Harold and the Chariot Master, among others, and portrayed Dintos, the god of the forge, in Kid Icarus, Uprising.
Haney. In 2019, Oppenheimer made guest appearances on the animated series Tigtone and lent his voice to the character Old Timer in Toy Story 4. Oppenheimer entered matrimony with costume designer Mariana Elliott in 1958, and they welcomed three children together. Although they experienced a period of separation, they reunited in 1992 and remained married until her passing in 2003. In 1984, Oppenheimer tied the knot with professional tennis player Marilyn Greenwood, but their marriage ended in divorce in 1990. Anne Haney as Alberta Meacham Anne Haney portrayed Thelma's adversary, Alberta Meacham. Alberta, the wife of Reverend Meacham, once held the position of president in the Church Ladies League, also recognized as the CLL. Known for her judgmental and gossip-prone nature, Alberta foreshadowed the character of Helen Lovejoy from The Simpsons. Similar to Helen, Alberta utilized her elevated status to condescend to her husband's parishioners, often meddling in their affairs under the guise of spiritual guidance. Millennials may recall Anne Haney for her roles as stern older women in Mrs. Doubtfire and Liar Liar. In Mrs. Doubtfire, she portrayed Mrs. Selner, the unyielding social worker who faced Daniels, Robin Williams, attempts at humor during a custody battle. In Liar, Liar, she depicted the secretary of Fletcher Reed, Jim Carrey, adeptly feigning disinterest in the antics of the energetic protagonist. Anne Haney passed away in 2001 due to congestive heart failure at the age of 67. Haney embarked on her acting career in her mid-40s, citing personal challenges as the catalyst, stating, My husband passed away, my daughter went to college, the dog got fleas, and the maid resigned. As reported by the Chicago Tribune, she amassed over 50 acting credits within her brief two-decade tenure in the industry. Vicki Lawrence as Thelma Mama Crowley Harper. As the storyline shifted between the family sketches, the NBC rendition of Mama's Family and the syndicated version, Thelma Harper underwent various character transformations. In the family sketches, Mama consistently exhibited a cantankerous demeanor, often initiating quarrels amidst the frequent bickering involving her daughter Eunice Higgins and son-in-law Ed Higgins. Renowned for her comedic talent, Lawrence gained prominence through her tenure on CBS's The Carol Burnett Show, where she remained from 1967 to 1978. Remarkably, she was the sole cast member, aside from Burnett herself, to maintain her role throughout the show's 11-season span. Following the conclusion of The Carol Burnett Show in 1978, Lawrence and her spouse Al Schultz relocated with their children to Maui, Hawaii. However, after a brief period, they returned to Los Angeles, where they have resided since. Lawrence was previously wed to vocalist and songwriter Bobby Russell from 1972 to 1974. Her second husband, Hollywood makeup artist Al Schultz, has been her partner since November 16, 1974. Together they share two children, Courtney Allison Schultz, born May 3, 1975, and Garrett Lawrence Schultz, born July 3, 1977. Having been a registered Republican for the majority of her life, Lawrence was a staunch advocate of Elizabeth Dole. However, in 2000, she transitioned her political affiliation to the Democratic Party and endorsed Al Gore. Since then, she has actively supported various progressive causes, including LGBTQ rights, women's rights, animal welfare, and environmental conservation. Lawrence and her family participated in Celebrity Family Feud in July 2015. Around 2011, Lawrence received a diagnosis of chronic idiopathic urticaria, CIU. She collaborated with the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America and became an advocate for the CIU and U campaign. In 2015, she shared her personal journey and raised awareness about CIU on The Doctors, while also promoting the CIU and U initiative. And that wraps up our journey through the lives of the beloved cast of Mama's Family. From the laughter they brought us on screen to the memories they created in our hearts, their legacies will continue to shine bright.
Join us again for more nostalgic reflections and heartfelt tributes. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Goodbye.